So this is Cut's video for the button, and this is Neurodivergence Singles, Find Love on the Button. Neurodivergence for the win, let's go. Oh my God, are you so ready? A perfume that's like supposedly indigo if you like wanna smell me, but um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do like, you know, I don't even, maybe like, you don't want to? Like, no, you don't want to I'm smell not me. a dog. <laughs> Welcome oh. to the button. Oh, I love the nerd. Oh my God, it's so nerd original already. You don't want to smell me. I'm not a dog. My favorite autism moment on love, love on the spec. No, on uh, yeah, love on the spectrum, is when the girl asks the autism instructor, um, "Do you like Mike Myers?" And she goes, "Oh, I don't know him." And I was like. <laughs> That's so funny. Do you like Mike Myers? Uh, I don't know him. <laughs> Fuck, that is, that, tell me brains do not work differently. Tell me that's not the greatest thing you've ever heard. Fuck, that's so funny. A speed dating show. When the button lights up red, either player may press it and swap out their date for a new person. Get out of here. If two people can last on a date for 10 minutes, they win an all expenses paid second date. Today's episode of The Button is focused on folks who are neurodivergent and on the mm -hmm. spectrum. Hi. 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 Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Sorry, you have very nice eyes. <laughs> Thank you. You have pretty eyes too. They're, they're beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful color. So like, how's your dating experience been prior to being here? Since I got diagnosed with ADHD, I haven't dated anybody. Because really? I realized like how big of a issue it caused in my relationship beforehand, mm -hmm. but I didn't have any words for it. My, yeah. my ex would just get frustrated with me all the time. I was like, why don't you help with the dishes? Yeah. Why do you get so like, into like crafting and like don't mm. <laughs> like help me around the house and stuff like that. And then I got the ADHD diagnosis and I was like, oh, it's because like my brain just does not work the way that your brain works. Mm. So I think it's good to have people who understand where you're coming from from that, who yeah. aren't gonna like judge yeah, you and be like. Kind of oh my God, my discord. Wait, is that a weird thing to say? Ugh, the autists are coming out. <laughs> I don't get how that's funny. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, let me explain it. So when she said, do you like Mike Myers? He's an actor on TV. So she's, so the way you would interpret that question is, do you like his movies? Do you like him as an actor? So when the other autist said, I don't know him, that's like, of course you don't know him. He's an actor. Like, of course you don't know him. He's famous, right? So that's why it's funny. Because one autist asked the other autist, do you like Mike Myers? And the autist thought the the answer was, yeah, I don't know him. Of course, you don't know him. <laughs> He's an actor. Community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fun fact about Kai, <laughs> they do a really great impression. Like, she knew who he was, <laughs> but she didn't know him personally. Like, it's just, like, the funniest. It's so funny. Should have a duck. Oh, okay. <laughs> Daffy? I wish. Oh. I, can't, I okay. can't talk while I do it, but. Let's hear it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that's okay. Unless I'm so autistic that she literally didn't know who he was, even though she explained he was an actor, and he does Shrek. Like, that would be even funnier if the layers of my neurodivergency is showing, because what if she did know, she didn't know who he was, but the, impl impl the implied conversation was that she knew who he was, but she didn't know him personally. <gasps> the layers of neurodivergency might be broken today. Because technically, ah, people in the comments are like, I didn't know who Mike Myers is either. But like, okay, she explained, because she explained he's the voice of Shrek. So he's an actor. But everybody knows who Mike Myers is from that generation. And the, okay, so this could be my autism. <laughs> but everyone who watched that clip with me started laughing automatically. Because they were like, she wasn't asking if you liked him personally. Because the way she answered was that as if she didn't like him personally. Oh, my God. Anyone who knows that reference, we need to now research. Good question. Oh, my God. This is so funny. Stop. Autism spec. No. Autis. And autisception. <laughs> That's on point. I can do that too. Oh my like, god, I'm you're dying. better than I am. <laughs> like, no, I'm but dumb. like I can do it. Like yeah. it's just, <laughs> I'm dying. What are some of your dating deal breakers? If I feel like oh. I can't trust somebody. Oh, well yeah. Like I mean like if I feel like I have to dig something out of you. Yeah. Just be open and honest. I feel like that's the nice thing about dating like other neurotyp uh neurodivergent. 
Yeah, see, have Brittany, have you seen Love on the Spectrum? No, I'm referencing Love on the Spectrum right now. I love Love on the Spectrum. I love People, it. Because a lot of them are very honest. That's one of, like, something I have a problem with, like, saying things that, like, I'm not trying to be rude. But, like, right, I, I just, just, yeah, I'm gonna say it. I said it, it yeah. and, and then I'll be like, oh, damn. Like, as soon as I said it, like, <laughs> But I, I never mean it in a mean way. It's just like, I just, it, I'm gonna like, say what's on my mind. <laughs> That's fair. I'm mm. sorry, like, you kind of look like my ex. <laughs> I couldn't fair. do more than friends with you. We're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, cool. But you, you do seem no, very chill, cool. yeah. You're cool. Nice to meet you. Even though she looks like your ex, you don't want to try? Hell no. Nah. <laughs> Ooh, that was... Fair. No. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I like the pearls. It's Thank very you. cute. Thank you. I like your tattoo. Yeah. Thank you. Anyway, um. Is she high, girl? I want to be high. Um. <laughs> Who was it? Yeah. You both hit me at the same time. Hmm? Do you want to rock, paper, scissors over it? Ready? Rock, paper, paper scissors, scissors, shoot. shoot. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> 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 okay. I'm sorry. Like, you're wonderful. So are you. I think we'd be really good friends. I think so, too. We'd be okay, really, really yeah, good friends. Like, yeah. <laughs> Queers and neurodivergence. We could just be friends. Bye. <laughs> Hi. Nice to meet you. I'm Jay. Hi, Jay. I'm Grace. Nice to meet you, Grace. Tell me about yourself. I'm a security guard right now. Okay. Oh. I make music, and right now I'm looking for something more casual. Okay. Um, because I like just got a relationship in February, so I don't need to rush nothing. Okay. A little about me. I am from Chicago. I like hiking. I like weed. I like. <laughs> She's so weird. I love it. I like pretty people. <laughs> I'm really passionate about music as well. Oh, like what kind of music do you make? Okay. Yeah. I do like alternate R or alternative R and B. Yeah. Jay says their type is anyone that can sing. Can you sing, Grace? I can sing. What style are you good at? I'll sing just the national anthem. Go ahead, Fergie. Okay. Oh. oh! <laughs> Is she referencing Fergie's attempt to sing the national anthem that one time and totally bombed because I love Fergie, but that was so funny. That was such a funny, I love when people sing the national anthem, but Fergie tried something and it just didn't work and I'm dying. Can you see? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I can sing. No, okay? girl, you got to Whitney it. It's like hard. It's like a big room. Okay, don't come no, for me. No, no, girl. Can you tell me my no. color? Pink. And like, I actually, yeah, because you're here in your outfit. Oh, okay. That's a hard song to sing, though. Listen. No, I can't even do it right now. Oh, say. Oh. No, that song's so hard to do on the spot. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no, that song's so hard to do on the spot. Oh, say, mm -mm. can you see? No, oh my God, that song is so hard to do on the spot. <gasps> I never thought about it before. By the dawn's early light, what so proudly we hail at the twilight's... Oh my God, that is so hard to do impromptu. <gasps> okay, you know what? I forgive her. That was so, that was really hard. That's, that's a hard, why would she choose the hardest song in the world to sing? That was so it's hard. Like it's like nah, 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 yeah. nah. What's so, your favorite color? Black. Like, yeah. I guess mm -hmm. to wear, but like indigo and mm -hmm. Ooh. Okay. I'm like wearing a perfume that's like supposedly indigo if you like want to smell me, but um, no, that I don't is know. Hard. <laughs> I oh my God, stop it for the compliments, guys. Stop. <laughs> Move over, Britney Spears. Stop. That is a very hard song. And don't do like, you know, I don't even, maybe like. <laughs> Ingrid says I'm a bit flat. Ingrid, you're a bit flat. Just kidding. You're lovely. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's very hard. You don't want to? Like, no. You don't want to I'm smell not a dog. <laughs> smell her. I like, I like applied it a while ago. I like. You smell wait, wait. This girl in the pink, she's so like. Lovely and high energy. She's a little too high energy for me, and I'm high energy in a different way. Like I'm aggressive high energy. She's like so sweet high energy. You know what I mean? Sweet it's high energy. Like oh my god, my Discord is literally posting how to sing the national anthem. I love you guys. So sweet. Love it. If you want, <laughs> you smell like okay. So like, <laughs> don't say if, that. No, 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 no. <laughs> if water had like a good sweet smelling scent, because like Ooh, I love the smell love of water. You. What? That's good. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, this girl. It was nice to meet you. Yeah, it was nice to meet you. This girl is this is the most like calming energy I've ever seen in a human. She would get so 
frustrated with me <laughs> in like five seconds. What happened, Jay? Uh, like, I just, was, there was not a vibe. You've been in here I'm for sorry. a while. The singing, I know. If you press the button on the next one, you're eliminating yourself. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you, I'm Jay. I'm Charlotte. Nice she's to meet you. No, she's out. I love your jacket. Oh, thank oh, you. Oh, that's, that's a very loud jacket. Did you get off those buttons? I've been collecting pins since like middle school. Here. We can match. Actually, I kind of want to put it on my head. Ooh. Oh, maybe yeah, they're vibing. Just kidding. Yeah. Nice. That's cute. It's chilling. He's just hanging out there. So, what are your passions? I'd love oh. to be like a voice actor or something someday. Can I hear something? Oh God, yeah, sure. Uh, I'm able to do a kind of like uh, Lady Dimitrescu, like badass female villain kind of voice. Oh. Say. You're really hot, can I take you on a date? <laughs> no, say, you're really hot. Can I take you to my bedroom? D man, the button is such a little slut. Like, the button is so forward. <laughs> man. Okay. Oh my god, button, okay. You're really hot. Can I take you to my bedroom? <laughs> <sighs> you know, sexy voices, are only sexy to people who are into you. That's my rule. That's my thing. There's this really attractive man on TikTok. Have you guys seen this? He's black. And he does this whole like side profile, turn to the camera. I love like big women chick. And I can't watch him. I can't watch thirst traps on TikTok. Like I just don't think they're very, except, well, that's a lie. I watch female thirst traps. <laughs> okay, I can't watch male thirst traps on TikTok because most of them just like, make me want to vomit and it's no hate like I love that that's their shtick but there's this guy and he has a really sexy voice I think but when I hear it it makes me like I hate it but I think I would like it better if I was like really into him or really into the shtick but I just like can't handle it and I wonder like you know when you look at someone's sex like sex history like to anyone else it's cringe but the people in it it's like it's kind of a it's kind of hot oh god that was so I don't think so. <laughs> Charlotte believes that people shouldn't date her because she thinks lying is really fun. Oh, <laughs> oh. I get bored easily. And so sometimes I'll just slip a little lie into a conversation. This is my, this is my kryptonite, right? This is like my villain. Is this my arch enemy? This is like my arch enemy. This is like my arch enemy right here. Conversation and just kind of see like, are they gonna call me out on it? Do you like eventually tell the truth? Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay. I don't keep it going like mm -hmm. too far. Yeah. It's just something that like I picked up from my family. So Jay, you're buzzing yourself out? Yeah. Was the lying? A little bit. <laughs> like I'm just... just like not feeling the chemistry. Yeah. How's it going? Hi. <laughs> Y'all, I really fucking hate lying. It's so fucking weird. You're bored? Get a fucking hobby that isn't lying. What's your name? I'm Charlotte. Charlotte, I'm Nick. Nice to, nice meet, to you. meet you. Fun fact about Charlotte, she believes her type is losers. <laughs> Damn, Charlotte. Damn. Damn. <laughs> she loves a good loser. That's oh. funny. I wouldn't identify as a loser. What do you think of when you think of a loser? I just like people who are... I'm sorry. Ma'am. That's funny. I wouldn't identify as a loser. What do you... Is he saying I wouldn't identify or I would? Oh, I gotta turn on caption. You think of when you think of. <laughs> she loves a good loser. That's funny. I wouldn't identify as a loser. What do you think of I when you think of a loser? I wouldn't identify as a loser. I just like people who are kind of like nerds, very much just like true to themselves. And I feel like. Oh, she is into losers then. Can we all admit it? There's kind of a variation of like loser ish compared to like the typicals that I'm just gonna own. But at the same time, like, I don't think of myself as a loser. I just think of myself as, like, other. But, like, other in, like, a way that works for me. But there is something about, like, there are people in the world that just excel in ways that, like, eh, I'm good. And in some ways, I guess it's kind of like a I could just call it nerdy. Like, can I be real? Like, I don't know. I think, let me tell you, when I hang out with a guy and all he wants to do is talk about D&D, there's something about that where I'm like, yeah, I love you guys. I've always dated a and deer, but um, there's something really nerdy about it. That's like kind of that when I grew up, that's like kind of what a loser is. <laughs> but I guess like it's not like 
you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm into BDSM, and that would make people look at me like, oh, she's one of those weirdos. I get it. You know what I'm saying? And at the same time, I think in our communities, we're like bigger fish in a pond. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's cool kids in the dungeon. There's cool kids who talk about D&D to other D&Ders. But, like, to the general public, you're not going to see, like, a d and as, like, not the other. You know what I mean? So it's, like, a nerd thing. Um, but not, like, okay, when I think of a loser, it depends. There's two contexts. There's a loser, meaning you're not typical, which I think all neurotypicals would fall under. No offense. And then, and all nerds, I'm sorry, like, if you wear a tail, if you play D&D, you're just, like, like nerdy loser in a way that's like specific or there's like the loser because you've like not attained anything then there's the person who's just like fail themselves they won't eat the cupcake they're like basically useless that's like a loser as well but there's like different kinds of like ways to say loser because some people look at themselves and go oh, I'm a, no I'm like such a nerd I'm so like I'm just a loser but they don't mean it in like the derogatory way so it depends does she mean it in the derogatory way or does she mean it in the, yeah, I'm just like not like everyone else way? Do you know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. Ah, discourse as a loser to me, someone who has no drive and doesn't take care of themselves and lives off their parents in a basement. That is the other kind of loser. That is the other kind of loser. That's also the kind of, like, that is a version of a loser. But like, what is a loser? There's also people who are sore losers. There are people, I think she might mean it in the more like warm way. That's what I'm getting off of it. But maybe she's self-flagellating, like, like self-flagellation because she's also like internally upset with herself. So maybe she does mean it in the mean way. Let's keep watching. I feel like that's what a loser is. <laughs> like true to themselves. And I feel like that's what a loser is. Yeah, I think there's something. Okay, let me, let's look at this in the most positive light, right? She's saying, because listen, can I tell you? A lot of people will look at me and say like, oh my God, your YouTube channel sucks. You're a loser. You can't even like keep up with the numbers. But it's just like in my head, I'm like, yeah, I'm just doing what I want. And like if I wanted to be more popular, I would have to appeal to the other people. And like in some ways that is a game I should play in the hustle culture. But in some ways, I'm also just fine like being what I am. But technically, technically, some people would be accurate in saying like I'm losing the YouTube game. Bubbles, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. High school never ends. Facts. We just have more money now. But yeah, that's that's actually I've heard it used that way a lot in certain bubbles. So yeah. <laughs> I'm not buzz you. Sorry. <laughs> You're not I'm enough sorry. of a loser. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Maybe you think I am after I buzz you, but. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, yeah. I'm a loser. No, sorry. Because oh, I've I'm... lost you. <laughs> Hey, how's it going? Hi, I'm Michelle. Michelle, I'm Nick. Michelle. Oh, Michelle. Nice yeah. to meet you. Your name's Nick? Yeah. I just want to know, like, how do you think you spell my name based on what I said? For do you remember it? Yeah, for Michelle. Michelle. Oh, oh no, I'm already screwed up. Um, M-A-S-H-A-L, maybe? Wait, that was, like, perfect spelling. Actually? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Ask each other what you're looking for in dating. Not, like, anything super specific. I feel like I kind of just look for someone who I can, like, vibe with. Also, people think like people who don't have jobs are losers, which are like a lot of neurodivergence or a lot of people with disabilities. People think like if you don't have a high paying job, you're a loser. People think if like you're not a, like if you're an artist, you're a loser. That's what I'm saying. So like some people will own the label loser because it's like, yeah, sure, I'm a loser, I guess, because I don't fit this stereotype of this bubble of what I'm considered to be like famous or popular or pretty with and like have fun with and get along well with I don't really have is like, it more casual for you or more serious honestly either like I feel like I'm like open to like anything like I'm not really like focused on this he looks like the comedian um uh John Mulaney Maloney whatever that whatever that name is Vash with the super chat thank you so much says I always thought of loser is a person who never did anything with your life that's productive i.e. loser your whole life yes that is that's what I'm saying okay guys listen just like a slut was like, basically it's derogatory, but you can re-own it. Loser is a word that some bubbles are trying to re-own because people will call people who are just different losers. Do you get what I'm saying? Like people who used to watch anime were losers when I was growing up. Nobody f***ing liked them. They were losers. They were lame and creepy. And now it's popular. So all the cool kids like Drake are watching anime. Do you guys follow? So some people 
feel like loser is a word to re-own because people who have called them losers their whole life are just people who are quote unquote more normal. And so now they're re-owning it. I'm not saying loser doesn't have multiple meanings. I'm saying it's a re-owning of the word in certain bubbles. Oh my God. Specific. What's like the longest you've dated someone? I've dated someone for two and a half years. We broke up recently just because like we were long distance. They felt kind of like stuck and like they wanted to. Oh no. Yeah, no, wanted that's to, like, so breaking. What are you, what's your longest relationship? About like, I would say two years. I am someone who like, who like has adrenaline rush, right? When you fall in love and yeah. there's like the chase and everything. I'm trying to grow out of it. Like I'm trying not to be like adrenaline junkie nonstop. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it's like hard because like when you first get in a relationship, it's definitely like different so, than later on. Honeymoon guys, and I'm yeah. like, sorry. Oh, it's okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> no worries. I'm so sorry. Why did you press Cause it? Because you, it was like the whole Nashal thing and then also like. Oh yeah, I fucked that up. No, out. that's okay. <laughs> You're not my like general art. She did not fuck him up because she has a weird name. She knows is weird. She even tested him with a spelling. See what I'm saying? People are so interesting. Like, obviously, there's just not a vibe. Like, I think it's so important to have a good vibe. You know what I mean? Ultimately, and vibe, with the right vibe, you know what I mean? It won't matter if he fucks up your name. Archetype. Yeah. Yeah, no worries. Nice yeah. meeting you. No, thank you. Yes, butterfly, agent butterfly, it's kind of like somehow how kind of like how some bubbles reown slurs. Exactly. She's just like reowning the word maybe or she could be having like a cognitive dissonance with it or something or like a it doesn't matter. Okay. Um yeah, I don't like this girl, Michelle. I don't love her. I'm not good at so energy. Yeah. <laughs> he seems sweet, but like very bottomish and also stood up for himself, which I thought was good. Oh my god, I hate this. Love you. Oh my god, hello. I'm Michelle. Nice to meet you. Michael. Michael? Yes. Nice to meet you. What's your sign? Ooh. What do I look like? mm, you have pretty features. Thank you. Sagittarius. Like Libra. Stop, you're like spot on. <laughs> oh, really? Wait, yeah, what the fuck? Okay. I just said Sagittarius because I like saying that. Wait, can I guess yours? Okay, yeah, go ahead. Sagittarius? Close. Uh. Leo. Leo? Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, wait, Loki. No, Leo's the next one. Isn't yeah. it supposed to be like Leo and Libras are like. Yeah, like tight, like they're. No, we're like they're yeah, twin like, yeah. <laughs> Am I your like usual type? Um, I don't think I would have a type, but okay. but you are somebody that would conveniently find mm. attractive. But are you like that to everyone, or is it just like? No, I'm actually very picky. <laughs> okay, wait, me too. When was your last relationship? Uh, three years ago. Oh wow. Yeah, two and a half coming up on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tiger, great question. She's not gonna test Michael with her name. Is there a reason to why, like, you have it? Yeah, one, I'm very picky. Um, I still cherish the person that I was in a relationship with last. I know I can have peace. I know I can have what I want. So that's what I'm going to do. And if yeah. it's not given that, then yeah. I'm going to move over here. I love that you're not, like, someone who, like, jumps back to back or tries to, like, fill in that void. Why shouldn't people date either of you? I was going to ask the red flags. Yo, uh, <laughs> okay, let's get into it. My red flags, uh, I definitely think it's mostly to do with sometimes my bluntness and my honesty i can get his autism in that like you know just kidding his neurodivergency we don't know what they all have space of just clicking out in my like autism and being like okay oh just kidding it's autism i don't have emotions like yeah, you know yeah. we're having this conversation and i'm trying to get to the goal yeah. i'm also working on like you know my empathy and still understanding conversations and yeah. you know, social nice. cues and stuff but your red flags i am very impulsive mm -hmm. i think like in a general setting i can give advice really well but when i'm in the position myself like if i get triggered like my emotions take over so i try <gasps> someone said she's not testing him because he's black and not white maybe did she think Michelle was a hard name? Like, what, ma'am? Bluntness and honesty means not understanding social skills. I mean, people out here playing the nice game. They're out here playing the nice game. You know what I'm saying? Like, people want you to be nice and courteous. You say one thing about your friend on YouTube, and all of a sudden, he throws a bitch fit and has a breakdown on the internet. People out here saying they like blunt. Tell that to my good friend, Destiny, who ditched me on the internet. <laughs> Being the main character, too bad. How about you two play a game of truth or dare? Oh, fine. Okay, you know, Just we're having such a good I know. Where's the dare okay. even? A, what yeah. is okay. it? Thrive. Truth or dare? Okay. Um, I'll take a truth. Why not? Okay. What's your body count? When I was <gasps> younger, I did not have the best experience with my body, and it was definitely a means of making money. So <gasps> my body oh. count was a little higher to me. Oh. Oh. For 
for that period of time. Yeah. But it's probably around 30. But I've also been tested all the way through and I've made sure to as like, long as you're you know, safe. Yeah. yeah, you know, and that was, that was like five years ago. So Yeah, I totally understand that. And your past is your past. That has like nothing. And people are growing you know, life happens and that's real. I'll give you a truth or dare. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll do a dare. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> wow, that's kind of amazing. So he did sex work when he was younger. He body count of about 30, been tested. That's great, love that. No shame to people with STIs, but we love a clean slate, right? Hayda says 30, not bad, kind of low. Let's go. Love the honesty. Love the bluntness. I'm not going to lie. This is kind of what dating like with me is similar to where you're on a date and you're just like body count, STIs, medical history. Let's go. And they just say it. They're like when they just say it, that's what is beautiful. Like that's why I ended up marrying my partner. Like I'm getting married to my partner is that he just allowed the questions and answered the questions. But a lot of people lie. A lot of people go, oh, my God, you don't need to ask about that. Like, we don't need to talk about that on the first date. Um, They're not even on an actual date. And he answered, honestly, I love that. I love what's that. What's your best dance move? Oh, my God. So I'm a dancer. No. And I, I love Okay, dancing. I used to dance in high school, but I'm, like, so freaking rigid now. Oh. 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 Uh, oh. You know, you know, you okay, you got it. What? What? <laughs> I right. dare you to the dance. You're not in this game. <laughs> Would you like to dance? Sure. See, okay. You can keep up. What was your dream first day look like? Okay. I hate flowers. I don't like receiving flowers. Real. Like maybe hiking or like painting or okay. something that like we okay. can talk over but also like keep busy. I love eating too. So okay, that period. I cook. Oh, oh my god. So. I literally, I'm trying to like learn how to cook, but that's left like the best life skill. I dare you to kiss. Oh my god, you're crazy. No, I need to like butt in the button. Right, you're like, hey, hey. Shut up. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna light up one more time. And if you don't press me, you win a date. All right. Here we go. Honestly, I wouldn't be mad if you did it. Like, I would want you to scope it out too. <laughs> I don't know. No, I mean, I'm chilling. I would like to do it with you. <laughs> We have a match! <laughs> Congratulations! That was so cute. This is like, I love this energy, which is like, I wouldn't even blame you if you press the button. It's just so like forgiving of a, a dump. It's so forgiving of a rejection. It's so forgiving of like, you just gotta do what you gotta do. Let's go. You wanna dump me, dump me. You wanna keep going, let's go. I just think that is so crazy. Crazy. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is just like the I'm like sweetest wearing perfume. That's that is like the sweetest, sweetest, sweetest cover I think we have ever seen. I mean, they're oh my gosh, that was so good. The, honestly, can I be real with you? Like dating, you know, neurodivergently can be hard. And like I said, I've dated in the past and people thought I was quote too intimidating. Let me move over. Let's talk. Okay. I've had that happen. Where people have been on dates with me and they're like, um, it's a little much. And I was like, oh, is it? Is it a little much? The world prides itself on being so like, I'm blunt. I can handle it. I can do this. Like, you know, I, I, I you know, women are so sensitive, blah, blah, blah. The moment they date a neurodivergent girl who's blunt as hell, all of a sudden they're like, they're so rude. They can't handle it. All of a sudden they're sensitive as hell. I'm just saying I love it. I love this energy. I think it's so important to date people who like your energy, who like the bluntness. Um, I'm a big fan of rejection. I think it's really important to be rejected. I think it's really important to accept that you are who you are and you might not be everyone's cup of tea. I think it's really important to have a standard. I think it's important to know yourself and know what you have to fix. I think it's important to have that conversation with yourself and the people you're dating. I don't mind when I get feedback from people who are like, yeah, dating you was kind of intimidating. Because genuinely, I know that I have that kind of blunt personality. And it's really nice to find somebody who loves me and can handle it and has a relationship with it. You know, uh, Yaya says, I wonder if they'll ever do a catching up video with the people that went on a date. That'd be fun. That would be fun. Oh, my gosh. I would love to see like a follow up of the cut videos to see like how did the dates go? Did anyone end up being in a long term relationship? That would be interesting. I think that, you know, you would think that they would be contacted. 
I bet if a couple had stayed long term together, six months or even 12 months, I'm sure they would have contacted Cut because that would have been a great video. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. Yeah, I think it's really important if you're looking for a long term cohabitation with a person who sees you, really sees you and you're not settling. OK, settling with values, I mean, when you're really dating somebody who loves you, you're dating a whole human being and you're asking a lot of them, right? I'm just so aware of how much I'm asking my partner to deal with and vice versa. But it's so lovely when it really is healthy, happy, and kind and it works out. It makes such a difference. It just makes a huge difference to find somebody that can help you push yourself to be happy, happy, healthy, and kind. One of the ongoing questions my partner and I always ask each other is like, What's a fight mean in our relationship? What does it mean to have a fight? Because like one of the things we haven't really done yet is have like a fight. And people will say like, you should fight with your partner. To me, a fight means we've gotten to the point where we refuse to hear each other out or communicate. And I don't want to have a fight with my partner. By my definition. My definition, a fight in a relationship means we have gotten to the point where we do not want to hear our partners out and we do not want to have the conversation. We stonewall, walk away. I don't want to do that with my partner. So one of the things that we utilize in our relationship is like lots of safe words, lots of yellow. I can't handle this right now. Can we talk about it in 20 minutes, one hour, two days? We specify. We give each other a chance to cool down or to reorganize our thoughts. We try to get it done before bed. But like I don't want to fight with my partner. I do not want to stonewall him. In my past relationships, I have fought with partners, screaming at the top of my lungs, cursing them out, slamming doors, leaving for two days with no word. Like I have absolutely been toxic and I know I don't want to do that again. But finding a person that you can communicate with to work that hard with you is a big deal. I'm really lucky that I found someone who's like so open to communication, so open to not doing that because it does seem to be pretty prevalent in a lot of relationships where it's like, yeah, we fight, we yell, we throw stuff. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to be throwing stuff. I don't want to be fighting. I don't want to be yelling, cursing. I don't want to be dragging my partner down, calling my girlies, tweeting about it. No subtweets in this relationship, you feel me? So again, really liked this episode. Really liked the energy. Definitely identified with the energy. I like the bluntness of the dates. I appreciate it. With that said, guys, I'm going to get going. It's pretty late here as per usual, and I would like to get a little bit of a snack in before bedtime. Da 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 da